In this video we are going to look into how images in atomic force microscopy are created. When two objects approach each other, they feel the so-called van der Waals forces. These forces are attractive at larger distances due to instantaneously induce depots and become repulsive if the atoms get too close due to repulsion of the positive nuclei. This is a very important slide so make sure you understand it. For atomic force microscopy we have three main operation modes. The contact mode which operates in this region here the probe basically contacts the sample. If the sample is soft, you also can use this mode to make a nano-sized scratch. Then we have the non-contact mode, which operates in, in this region here. It is not that common to use because it is a little bit more complex. And then the third mode is the tapping mode. It only taps the surface in an oscillating manner. A mix of contact and non-contact mode, so to say. Now let's take a closer look to understand how the contact mode actually works. The probe touches the surface. The cantilever does not band and a laser beam that is reflected by the cantilever hits the detector centrically. As we scan the surface, we encounter a hill. Due to repulsive forces, the cantilever bends and the laser beam doesn't hit the detector centrically anymore. Now what the detector does is it sends a signal to the set stage which will adjust the height. A difference in topography is uh, recorded. If we would move on here, the probe would experience attractive forces when getting to a valley again. The cantilever would bend in the opposite direction and the set stage would adjust their height downwards. You can also measure friction of your sample in contact mode. Higher friction causes the cantilever move left or right instead of up and down. And this movement can be measured too and then be correlated to the friction of the sample. In tapping mode, the probe gives light taps on the surface of the sample. The amplitude of this oscillation depends on the bending of the cantilever. It is also measured with a laser beam, similar as it is for the contact mode. If a change in amplitude is detected, the height of the set state is adjusted and from that a topographical image produced. This mode is especially suitable for biological samples that would be easily damaged in contact mode. In non-contact mode, the probe is also oscillating and amplitude is detected. In contrary to tapping mode, the probe does not touch the surface though. The advantage over tapping mode is an extended probe lifetime. Disadvantage is that you need an ultra high vacuum for best imaging. Otherwise, a contaminated layer of water interferes with the oscillation, what ultimately reduces resolution. Another operation mode helps to record so-called force curves. They contain information about adhesion properties of your sample as well as hardness and elasticity. What you do in this mode is basically at a single point, you push the probe into your sample and pull it out again and measure the deflection of the cantilever. To understand why the force curve looks how it looks, you have to understand the attractive and repulsive forces from slide 2 first. 
if you find that challenging, then do the following thing. You take your vacuum cleaner, remove any attachments and turn it on. Then you take the hose and move it slowly to your cheek. While you do that, look at the force curve and identify the different sections. Oh, and please record a video and put it down into the comments. Now, there are much more modes available and I cannot talk about all of them. For example, there is the quantitative nanomechanical or QM mode. There you, re there you record a force curve for each tap in tapping mode. Conductive AFM tells you something about the conductivity of your sample, of course. And magnetic force microscopy mode makes you obtain information about the magnetic properties of your sample. But the most important modes are contact mode, tapping mode, non-contact mode and the force curves. That was it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.